You're a voiceover artist looking to start, build, and grow a successful voiceover career. Right now, you may be confused as how to even start, or you're just simply stuck. That ends now. Let's get you started with this podcast, Steps to Voiceover Success. What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome to this great special Black Friday deal sale. Yep, I got my brand new Grind and Don't Quit gear on. You want to grab some for yourself, go ahead and do that. Links in the description or maybe right below this video in my little store. Look, um, today, tomorrow, which is going to be Small Business Saturday and also on Cyber Monday, we're going to be here and we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. I can tell you that right now. A whole bunch of stuff. Today, we're focusing in on our microphones. I've got all these mics set up around here, and I'm hoping this goes off without a hitch, but you guys will let me know, right? So look, today we're focusing in on your microphones. It is probably the thing that most voiceover artists think is the most important part of what they do. If you've been following me, you know that it's not, but it is that thing that everyone takes pictures in front of and puts their little logos on, you know, all that stuff. The microphone is like that thing that people really want to want to focus in on. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some deals that are on Amazon. Now I can tell you the link is in the description for um, everything that we're going to be doing. And actually I'm putting that link right into the chat. Hopefully you guys see that as well. Um, here live on YouTube. If you want to click that, any of the products that I'm going to be going over, it's going to be in that link. But once again, the link is in the description for this video as well. And not only for the things we're going to be talking about today, which is our microphones, but we're also going to be talking about your interfaces tomorrow. We're going to be talking about your ancillary gear that you need on Monday, like your headphones and cords and all those types of things. So we're going to get into that today. So what's good? Good morning. What's up, Mr. William? Glad to have you in here with us today. Happy holidays to everyone. Um, Victor A. Johnson, good morning, Doc Earl and VO fam. Hey, glad to have you in the house. Um, everyone, as you're coming in, just let me know you're here uh, so that I can definitely give you a shout out for that. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, ooh, did I set this up already? I think I did. I think I did. We're just going to double check. Uh, to make sure that we've got everything set up appropriately here because I want to make sure that I'm literally showing you the right thing. And I believe we're good on that. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about on today, if I can get the screen shared and pulled up right, is going to be your microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. Hopefully I am sharing that right now. And it keeps bopping back and forth, doesn't it? It just keeps bopping back and forth. Let's see if we can try something else here. Uh, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. We're gonna go back to this one and we're just going to make this minimized. I got it, don't worry, I got it. We're gonna minimize this a bit now, there we go. Now, oh my gosh. The first thing that we're gonna be going over is going to be this USB microphone that I got in uh, from Toner a couple of weeks ago. Some of you may have seen this, and this is what it looks like here. Uh, so you can take a good look at it right here. It's the Toner mic. You're going to see it comes with its own stand, right? It comes with its own little stand, and um, it comes with its own little thing to hold the mic as far as the, uh, the holder. The shock mount is what this is called because it shock mounts it comes with the pop filter and it comes with the windscreen here on the side also as i said before you want to make sure that you're talking into this end always on your microphones wherever the logo is or the word is for the brand that's the side you talk into so you want to talk to it like this you don't want to be talking talking to it from the back you're not going to get good sound quality from that now the great thing about this too even though it does come with its own stand it also, this stand actually screws off. So if I do this here, I'm just going to put this down here a bit. I got to put this back on. So I'm going to put this back on as well. But what happens when you screw this stand off, you can actually screw this onto one of your little scissor boom arms that you may have or something like that as well, because it's going to screw right there into the bottom and you're going to be, be able to use it on whatever mic stand you want to use it on. And it's going to be utterly amazing. Now I'm going to give you I'm going to tell you and show you and let you hear what this microphone sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and let me move this 
mic out of the way. I'm going to. Not sure why the stream is stopping, but the stream continues to stop on me. I'm not sure why. Maybe this is just a big day. I'm not going to switch to this microphone, but what you can do when you go and you check out this microphone, this is the Toner T777 uh, microphone. It is a USB mic, and I'm just going to let you see it one more again here that it is right now on sale. Um, Amazon, it was regularly priced at 27, I believe. Yeah. Regularly priced, oh my, at $52.99. But now it is priced at $25.49. You're going to get this deal when you order this microphone. Now, this is going to be good for everything that we see here, doing YouTube videos, Skype, Twitch, Zoom, all that other kind of stuff. But also, you're going to be able to use this as what I would call an entry-level or beginner-level microphone for voiceover. It's just one of the great deals that we have on Amazon. It comes with all of this great stuff uh, that you're going to get with it from the uh, pop filter. It comes with this. It comes with the windscreen. It comes with the shock mount and it comes with the three legged stand that actually comes off as well so that you can pop that on to your mic stand or whatever mic stand it is that you are using. So now that I've shown that one, I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the way and off my desk. You guys have no idea how much stuff I have spread across my desk to be able to bring to you guys this Black Friday show on your microphones on today. So once again, you can go ahead and grab this microphone on Amazon. The link is in the description already, and you'll be able to grab that if you're just a beginner, you're just getting started, and you just need to get a microphone that is going to be able to do the job for you so that you can at least start recording your voice and getting good feedback on that from potential clients, your friends, your family, and other VO artists to see what they think about the sound that you're producing. I did a show on this a while back, and the sound of this microphone, I'm not sure if anyone that's watching me live right now actually has this microphone, the TC777. If you do have this microphone, go ahead and pop that into chat so that um, people can know even what you may think about it. KC, happy holidays. Good morning to you. Kenny Butler, good morning, Brother Earl. Kenny from uh, Tampa here. Hey, Kenny, love having you here. Um, of course, we got Lady Tara in the house and also Cyrus Webb. Yeah, what's good, my friend? What is good? I am slaying the beast. Yes, I am. Cyrus, I'll deal with you later. You guys don't know, but yeah, Cyrus... Um, he's not what I'd call a heckler, but um, <laughs> I'll deal with you later, my friend, on that one. Now, look, I'm going to be going through a couple of different microphones. We've already gone through the TC777, uh, which is on your screen now. And what I want you to take a look at now, this is another microphone. It's the Q9. And I actually, if I swing this over, I actually have this with me right now now the thing that i love about this uh whole kit from toner is that it comes with all of this and let me see if i can uh switch this around to maybe give you a better angle but it comes with all of this stuff right so you've got i've got my boom arm here i don't know if i have a shot that'll show the boom arm no i don't have a shot that'll show the boom arm but it comes with the uh the boom arm to connect the microphone to and I can pump this up a little bit and you can see that now this microphone it comes with everything that you see here it comes with the boom arm included it comes with the pop filter it comes with the windscreen that's on the mic it comes with obviously the microphone there it comes with this shock mount and it comes with this boom arm this is an entire kit that you're going to be able to get with this. And I think you're going to, if I can, um, I'm going to try and see if I can share the sound from this microphone right away. There's, there's too many chords. I've got, I've got too many chords going on here, but let me just take a look and see. Oh, there it is, the Q9. All right, so now you're hearing, you're hearing the sound coming from the Q9 microphone. 
um, as it sits here on my mic. Boom, it keeps popping up in my face there. But what does this sound like to you guys? This is a straight USB microphone that plugs right into your computer, your laptop, whatever it is that you need. Um, how's this sounding to you guys? Now, also on this microphone, there's a volume button that you can turn down the volume. You may be able to hear I'm turning down the volume on this mic right now. Um, okay, so that should be pretty low. Now I'm going to go ahead and pump this mic back up, turn it back up so that you can kind of hear what it sounds like. I think that's a bit hot. I'm going to keep it about right. Uh, one more click down. Yeah, about right here, I think would be a good sound for this. Um, on this microphone, this is the Q9. It is a bundle and it is available right now uh, on Amazon. And I'm gonna bring it back up here, uh, switch over and boom. So this is what it is. This, and let me switch my microphone back. Hold on here. All right, so I should have my, yep, that's my live mic bike back. So this is everything that comes in this bundle. This microphone was $78.99, as you can see right there. You get this entire bundle the entire bundle for $44.99. Now I'm gonna pop the link in the uh, chat once again so that you can have that. Um, but the link is in the description for everything that I'll be talking about over the next couple of days. Uh, the great thing with this is there's really nothing else that you need. Um, it comes with the USB cord. It comes with the, with the scissor boom arm to hold the mic. It comes with the clamp, this little clamp here that you see um, so that you can clamp that to your desk. And then the scissor boom just pops right into that clamp. On the scissor boom, you're going to have the shock mount that goes with it. You're going to have the pop filter that goes along with it that attaches to the scissor boom arm. You've got the black little windscreen down here that helps put, uh, helps, you know, block out wind um, from getting into your microphone. You've got the microphone and you can see the little plus minus symbols on the microphone right here. Uh, that's the volume. And this is the side that you want to make sure that you're talking into. You want to be talking into the side with those plus minus symbols on it. Um, you don't want to be talking talking to it from the side or from behind. You want to be talking directly into the front, which that front is right there with the plus minus symbols that are on it. All right. And then obviously you have your USB cord as well. Now, when you heard the microphone, um, I'm assuming some of you or all of you heard the microphone. What did that sound like to you? Um, Cyrus is saying he loves that, uh, loves that mic. I'm sure he was talking about the TC777 because um, he has that mic and he uses it. This Q9 is an up level from that. But at these prices, you're almost getting like 30%, 50% off of what the original prices of these microphones are. But wait, there's more we've got i'm going to be going through not only some usb microphones today but also some xlr microphones so that you can get a really good understanding of of price of of quality of functionality whether we're talking about usb microphones or whether we're talking about xlr microphones and i'll get into the difference in those in a bit the usb microphones are the microphones that plug basically into your usb um for your um for your mic when I'm grabbing something down here when we're talking about an XLR microphone we're talking about I'm getting it I'm getting it we're talking about the microphone connections there's a USB connection and then there's an XLR connection this is an XLR connected microphone you've got the three prongs that are in there that plug into your US, your um, your audio interface. And then you have the other end, three prongs that plugs into the back of the microphone. This is an XLR connection. In order to use an XLR connection, you've got to have an audio interface. We're gonna be talking about some of my best and favorite audio interfaces on tomorrow. So you wanna make sure that you're here for tomorrow as well. Good morning, um, Bayou voiceovers. Glad to have you in the house. Next up, what we have, and we're going to go to the next microphone, whoops, that we have up here, that is going to be this one. I don't have this one in. I have the next one in, but this one just came up. It's a $93 microphone. Now, this is an XLR connection from Toner. 
the XLR connection, like I just showed you what that was, the big fat connections that are on there. This is the TC20. And this one is a bundle as well. Was $93.99, is now $64.59. This is also in the link in the description as well as um, I just put the link in the in the chat for you as well so that you can see. One of the great things about getting these bundles is there's really nothing else you have to do other than have your audio interface. That is really it. When you have this this type of bundle, and let me just tell you, this microphone is going to last you a long time. And what I mean by last you a long time, I'm talking about the quality of the mic is going to be what it is that you need to kind of carry you a little bit farther into your voiceover career. You know, the other two mics that I've shown you, they are more starter mics, right? They are more on the starting end, but it can get you going at least so that you can start recording your audio and doing that. This, however, is an XLR connection. You see the connections there. As far as um, XLR, this is not USB. So you will have to have an audio interface. It comes with your windscreen. It comes with the little clamp there to put on the edge of your desk. Then you have the scissor boom that's there. You also have the um, pop filter that helps you from popping peas and all that. And then, of course, you have the microphone. As I always say, make sure you're talking into the side that has the words on it. You always want to make sure that you have that. Now, the next one up, this is going to be, and I just recommended this microphone the other day. Um, this is a Rode Pod mic. Now, I'm going to switch back over because I actually have this mic. It's one of the mics that is in my cabinet. I actually love this a lot. This is a Pod mic from Rode. So this is a chunky little thing. It's, it's got some weight on it. You can see on the back, it is an XLR. So you're going to plug that right into the back. Um, this microphone has very good sound quality. Now, if I did have a, a issue, it is a little bit bright for me. What I mean by that, it, it, it's a little bit bright. It's on the higher end. Um, register like more treble than it is bass. When I say higher end, it's the highness or yeah, treble. You understand what I mean when I say treble or bass. Treble is much higher, bass is much lower. This is bass. I can't do treble. I can do treble a little bit. Okay, there's treble. All right, so it does accentuate the the highs a little bit more, but also this is a very good mic and it can be used to go ahead and get into your DAW, your D digital audio workstation the software that you use to record your voice, and you can add some lows into it. You can take some of the highs away. For certain people's voices, this may actually be pretty darn good. Now, the thing about this microphone, this was normally $99. Right now, you can get it for $89. Um, we're getting into what I would call uh, you may never have to change your mic again type of, of, of microphones. Um, especially when you start getting into the XLR type of microphones. But this one here, the Rode Pod mic, don't get it twisted because it says for gaming or for pod, podcast or anything like that. What you're looking at is the sound quality that comes from these microphones. So you can grab this now on sale, $89.95. It is one of the mics that's in my cabinet. I love this mic from Rode. So I don't think that if you get this mic, you can start going wrong with that. Uh, good morning, Ross. Glad to have you in the house. Thank you for being here with us on this Black Friday. We're going through some microphones that you can go ahead and grab on Black Friday. I'm going to go ahead and pop this link into the chat one more time. And also that same link is also going to be in the description for this video. Today, we're talking about your microphones, whether it's XLR or or whether it is USB connected microphones. All of them are on sale right now for Black Friday. Tomorrow, Small Business Saturday, we're gonna be talking about your interfaces. So we're gonna be getting into that more so that you can connect those XLR microphones right up to your computer and start recording. On Monday, we're gonna be talking about things like your headphones, your cords, your pop filters, your all these little, all these little ancillary things that are going to make sure that you're able to do voiceover well. Good morning, Jermaine, glad to have you here. Would you recommend that road for someone with a deep baritone voice? I would tell you this, that deep baritone voice isn't going to take advantage of those highs or what I might call the more tinny 
sounds. So it may not even be an issue with that, but also everything can be rounded out in your DAW, your digital audio workstation, the software you use to record your voice with, it can be rounded out in that through EQ and some other things. But I'm going to get into some microphones coming up right now that really, I mean, right out of the box, they're going to be really, really good. I think the next one or two microphones, we're going to be coming up with that. What's up, Jocelyn? Glad to have you in here from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. All right. Glad to have you in here. The next microphone up, I keep hitting the wrong thing. I need to close this out. So I stop hitting that. Um, the next microphone that we have coming up, ah, well, here we go. We're getting into it. <clears throat> this microphone that we're about to get into is going to be one of those microphones that if you get this, it may last you literally your entire career. So let's go ahead and share this. This is, is this the right one? Yeah. This is the Shure MV7 XLR mic. Now I'm looking around because I have it. All right, so here it is. I'm lifting it up here. And I'm thinking that you should be able to hear me on this microphone. Now the thing about this microphone, it comes in a couple of different styles. And we're gonna show you here exactly what I mean. So this is the Shure MV7 XLR podcast microphone, right? Now this is, for this particular microphone, and I just wanna make sure I show this up here. This one is an XLR microphone, but wait, there's more. Because they make two different styles of this microphone, okay? Now, let me see if I can switch over to my, uh, to this particular microphone. It does not look like it has it up. My mic for Adobe, Cam Link. All right, I'm looking for the mic. I want to find the microphone. I'm trying to, I'm literally trying to look for this mic. I see the lights are on, on this microphone, but I wanted to be able to share the sound with you if I could. Um, and let me just see here. Nope, that's not it. Or is this it? I think I am. Nope, I'm not on the right microphone. All right, this, oh God. Now what I do have for this mic is that I do have the ability with this microphone, um, I have recorded a video for this and it is on my Amazon page. And actually, if let's just see if it's actually on this page for this particular product. It may not be because it's not the same microphone. All right, so uh, yeah, it's got some here. It's probably on the next page for this. I'm gonna come back to this. And what I wanna show you is actually the microphone that I'm using right now, which is an XLR. You can see this right here. It's XLR, but it's also USB. This microphone is XLR capable as well as USB. And it has a headphone port on it as well. This microphone is, is, and here it is. I'm looking right here. When you scroll down on this page for this microphone, you see I did a whole entire review on this. So what I'm going to do, let's just see if I can play this at all. All right, it doesn't look like it's picking up the sound from here, but what I am going to do is I can probably share this, um, this link with you. And all you have to do, if you want to hear this review that I did on this actual microphone, I'm going to give you the link for this. And we're going to, I'm just, just going to take this here and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in chat. Because there is a lot of functionality to this microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and put that link in chat so that you can go ahead and find that direct page for this microphone. And I'm going to tell you why it seems like I'm so excited about this mic. It's because I am. The mere fact that I can use this microphone right out of the box via USB or via XLR 
to me is a game changer because whether I'm on the go, like, I, and I've used this mic before to create content, create videos with when I was on the road, I used this mic earlier this year. I, this is my mic that I take with me to my parents' house when I go to uh, Virginia and I want to do some recording. I'll just blow this up here just a little bit, but here it is that you can see, oh, it looks like I got a little sweat there. You can see this microphone. It has, as I said on the button, you've got the XLR connection. I have it plugged in via USB, even though it's not picking it up right now. But I got a lot of stuff going on over here. You got the lights on the top, or you can actually scroll through, turn this mic down, and turn this mic up. It is amazing. But not only that, it comes with software, free software from Shure, to actually make this mic sound exactly how it is that you want it to sound. That right there, <clears throat> excuse me, is a game changer for me because I'm able to dial in my sound. I'll see if I can't show you um, kind of what this looks like, um, if I'm able to share this on my screen with you. But having this um, set up here, and I'm just going to move this over here and see if I can actually share this with you. Hopefully I can. And there it is. All right, please connect compatible microphone to continue. I do not have the microphone plugged in, but what happens is you're able to dial in things like your uh, highs, your lows. You're able to dial in things like your compression, um, your EQ. Uh, th there's all this functionality that comes with this microphone right out of the box that you're not going to get. Actually, there's no other mic that I have in my arsenal that does this actually gives you that ability to tune in the microphone the way that you want it to be. And of course, I love, as I said before, I've got my XLR connection, I've got my USB connection, and I've got my little headphone jack so that I can liter literally monitor what comes out of here and also be able to use the free software that comes with it in order to go ahead and dial the sound of this microphone in the way that I want it to be. Now, Sure makes two different ones of these. This is the one we're looking at right now. This is USB XLR. This is the one that I have. This is the one that you're seeing. And let me go ahead and share my screen with you again. Um, but you've got, this is a USB and XLR connection. This one here that I showed you before is also a Shure microphone, but this is only XLR. So you can get the XLR only. It was 179. Now it's 161. Or you can get the XLR and USB connected microphone from Shure, same mic, was 249, now it's 224. So we're talking about a microphone that is going to last you a very long time in regards to what, um, who was it that was asking before, would it sound good on a baritone voice or whatever? This microphone and the microphones I'll be talking about, it doesn't matter whether you have a high voice or whether you have a low voice. This is going to be able to dial this in for you. But I have the one, I only have the one that is both XLR and USB connected with the free software and amazing buy. The next one I want to show you, this one was one of my first microphones. Now, this is a dynamic mic as opposed to a condenser mic. The other mics that I've been showing you are on the condenser side of the spectrum, um, except for the pod mic. The pod mic that I showed you, which is this little chunky one here, is also a dynamic mic. But now, this little bad boy right here that I have, and I'll show this to you, this is the Electra Voice RE320. This microphone here, now it doesn't come with this um, shock mount, which is an amazing shock mount, and it doesn't come with this pop filter, um, but I bought all of these things sold separately, but the microphone, this microphone has served me well for years, literally for years. It is the Electra Voice RE320. Um, it was... Uh, 337. It is now on sale for 298.50. This microphone is great. What what people use it for? <clears throat> you'll see it a lot in radio studios or its big brother, which is the RE20. But I'm telling you, many of folks in our community, in the voiceover community, use this microphone for voiceover. 
because it has a very rich sound to it. When you plug this in, this is an XLR microphone. It's not USB. You need to have an XLR cord to plug into your audio interface that then plugs into your computer. But this microphone, I've used this for talk shows. I've used this for voiceover many a times. I've used this mic for voiceover. So it is one that is going to get you what it is that you need in regards to a good sound and <clears throat> a good quality for what it is that you want. Now you can get it. If I click on this little um, one here with the shock mount, you can get the shock mount if you want that for $99. Um, that's regular price, I believe. And I'm just going to click on this just to double check and make sure. All right. So you got the Electro Voice suspension shock mount for the RE20 or the 320 microphones. It's not on sale. It is $99. But if you want that fancy thing, which it, the reason why I think it is so fancy, um, this holder, this shock mount is because the mic is heavy. So it needs to have a shock mount that is going to be able to hold that weight and also be able to allow you to manipulate it and move it around in the ways that you actually want to move it with that. Which one of these microphones, wh which one is is kind of speaking to you before we hit this last microphone. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here. We started off with the TC777 from Toner. This was or is your USB microphone. It's a beginner mic, was $52.99. Now you can get it for only $25.49. Um, we're looking at also the Q9, which is the bundle of this, uh, which was 78 bucks. Now it is 44 99. Then we looked at this one, the TC 20, which I actually do not have in studio, but it was the first XLR connected microphone that we took a look at. And then we took a look at the Rode pod mic was $99. Now 89 95 with that. This one is an XLR only microphone. Um, very chunky, very good quality from Rode. Then we took a look at these two, which is the Shure MV7X and the Shure MV7. And the Shure MV7, this one that's on screen, is the one that has the XLR connection as well as the USB connection. And then we took a look at the ElectroVoice RE320. All of these mics on sale. ElectroVoice RE320 was 337. Now it's 298. Which one of which which one is interesting you so far? I'd be interested to see if any of you have any of these microphones and what you think about it. Uh, Mr. William 1072. Yes, that mic is heavy. Yeah, it is. Um, and talking about the ElectroVoice RE320, it is definitely one of the heavier uh, microphones that are out there. But I'm going to tell you the weight of that road pod mic is actually almost comparable to the weight on the electro voice re320 uh different sounds on those i think if i had to just look at sound quality on its own i'd look more at the electro voice re320 um as opposed to the pod mic the road pod mic but that's just my own personal taste my own personal ears and my own voice that i'm using this on a uh, microphone is a very personal type of thing um because it goes along with your voice you want to pick a mic that's going to go along with your voice. And it may take you a couple of tries before you get it. But the great thing about buying mics on Amazon, you get it, you try it out. If it's not what you want, you send it back, you get your money back. So no harm, no foul. And you can put that money back into maybe a different type of microphone or whatever that you have may even seen on this Black Friday broadcast as well. Now, the final microphone that I'm going to go through is actually this microphone that you're hearing right now. This is the Shure microphone sm7b the Shure sm7b is one of those mics and i'll go ahead and pull up uh go ahead and pull it up here on uh screen <clears throat> this microphone 499 right now you can get it for 359 and you hear me talking in this microphone every single Friday during my live stream. So you kind of have a feel for what it would sound like. Now, full disclosure, it's not like I just have this mic running through a simple audio interface like a Focusrite or something like that. This is running through a Rode, um, a Rodecaster Pro, which has a lot of processing that I have the ability to do on it. And so I use my Rodecaster Pro to dial this thing in so that I get the best sound out of it. But right out of the box, this microphone, especially if you have the appropriate environment to record in, this microphone will blow you away. 
it definitely will blow you away. I said this was the last one, but it's actually not the last one. But we'll get to that. Um, this microphone, very good mic. You've this used to be back in the early uh, or mid two thousands. This is what a lot of uh, radio personalities used. Um, also became coveted in the voiceover community, still is. People all over the voiceover community still use this microphone because of its audio ability and able to capture the nuances of the voice. You know, whether you're talking kind of high or even when you're talking kind of low, um, it'll pick it up, right? So it's a very good microphone, $4.99 original price. Today, Black Friday, $3.59. I want you to go ahead and grab yours now this microphone is xlr and you will need a mic stand uh probably something like a mic boom um kind of like what you saw back here on my other microphone with the scissor boom but you need a good one uh this is a heavier mic you're not going to want a cheap one or whatever as far as it, you want something that's going to hold the weight on this so we're going to be going through some of those things even on monday on cyber monday so go ahead and grab your microphone today and then cyber monday you're going to be able to go ahead and grab uh your mic boom or microphone stand, whatever it is that you want. But also the link in the description has everything that we're going to be talking about up into including uh, your mic booms, your audio interfaces. All you have to do is click that link in the description and you're going to be see, you're going to be able to see everything it is that I'm talking about. Now, the last microphone, and I think a couple of my folks would have just uh, uh, lost it if I didn't share this this microphone with you. It is the Cinco Mic D2. All right. So this microphone regularly one ninety nine. Now this is unbelievable. It's one hundred and fifty nine dollars. I don't even believe this. I literally don't believe this. Now the reason why this microphone is so amazing to me, and I have this microphone. This is literally my voiceover mic. The Senko Mic D2. I think I need to hold it this way. And you'll be able to see it in there. I got to cover my eyes, I think, for a second. There it is. Senko Mic D2. This is obviously a shotgun microphone. I got this microphone two years ago. About, actually, it'll show you, I think, uh, on my Amazon. Yeah, it's two years ago here. And I can, I'll share my screen to prove it. All right, so you can see I last purchased this microphone on December 24th, 2019. I got this microphone after having a um, Sennheiser MKH416, which is a $1,000 microphone. And actually, you're getting this mic for much cheaper than I got it. I got this mic for about $225. Um, right now, today, you can get it for $159. This is my voiceover mic. This is the mic I use when I do voiceover. Um, the elect not the electric voice, the Sennheiser MKH416, which looks a lot like this microphone, is $1,000. Well, back in 2019, people started reviewing this mic in the voiceover industry because it was so comparable to that $1,000 microphone. And I have known it to always pull through. I've never had an issue with this microphone. It is the thing that continues to get me voiceover work and I continue to use it. And it being, it was $199. As I said, I think I paid $225, somewhere in the range of that when I got mine. But right now, you can get it for $159. $159. Now, what I want to make you aware of, this is an XLR mic. Um, right out of the box, this is what, what it comes with. It comes with this little um, stand to put your mic in. Uh, you need your own little stand, though. The XLR cable. It's probably a little bit short. You're going to want to need to get another one. It does come with the foam windscreen, which you kind of see here on mine. I have it. I put it back on mine. It comes with that. Um, and then the microphone that's in there as well. This microphone has a ton of reviews on it <clears throat> and continues to be a coveted mic now. It's, it's starting to be like a go-to mic. I'm sure that there are people watching this right now that actually have the Senco Mic D2. Um, Mr. William is saying, I'm about to buy uh, a second Senco to travel with. Yeah, I, I knew you had the Senco. Uh, my man, um, you know, that's why you're my boy on this. But also just the fact that you have another VO that's letting you know, look, yeah, I use this microphone um, and he's about to get a second one. This is an XLR mic. It is not USB. So you will need to have an audio interface to go along with this. But that's OK. Um, tomorrow, we're going to be talking about the audio interfaces that you can use with all of these mics that require XLR connection. 
Um, uh, Nate Ricks is saying, yes, sir. Um, uh, Amber is saying sold. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm telling you right here, I've had this mic for two years. I'm not upgrading. I'm not. This is my mic. This is my mic. Okay. This is what we use here. Um, at Earl Hall Studio and for Steps to VoiceOver Success, this is how we get our VO work right here. So if, you know, this is my coveted mic, it may not be yours, you may not be ready. But wherever you are in this spectrum from the different microphones that I've shown you on today, you need to start somewhere, okay? Start with the $25 microphone. Start with the $50 mic. Start with something that is not going to break your bank because you're not sure if this is what you want to do yet. If you're not sure this is what you want to do, there's no reason to go out and spend a ton of money on anything, whatever you might consider to be a ton, right? You want to start where you are and know that you can always level up once you start getting work, once you start getting noticed, and once you start getting a very full understanding of using your DAW. Your digital audio workstation, the software to record your voice. All right. And if you don't have a DAW yet, go ahead and download Audacity. Get started. Audacity is free. Literally. Google Audacity. Download it. Let's start getting to work. Um, I love, I mean, I love all of you that come and watch me live on YouTube. I will be back here tomorrow and we'll be talking about your interfaces, your audio interfaces to go with your XLR microphones. We'll be talking about that. But then also you may want to consider the link is in the description, not only for all of the microphones and stuff that I'm going to be talking about over the next couple of days, but also you want to consider joining our mastermind. It's where we dig into these things where, how do I set this up? How do I hook this up? Hey, Earl, how does this sound? Is this good? Is this not good? Whatever. You need to understand your digital audio workstation. You, need, you don't know what buttons to push. You just don't know how to get started. Well, that's why we have the mastermind. So link is in the description. Nate Ricks is saying, get the Senco and start grinding. I love it. I love it, Nate. Yes, get your Senco, Mike D2, and start grinding. Link is in the description for all of these things. Look, I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here with me on today on this Black Friday that we've been able to just dig in with you here and go through some of these things. I hope that this has been valuable for you, at least to see a wide range of microphones, styles of microphones, USB, XLR, condenser, dynamic, a lot of different choices, a lot of different decisions, but you can do this and you can grind and don't quit. I'll be back here tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to be coming back and we're going to be talking about your audio interfaces. As a matter of fact, if I can pull up, uh, let me just see if I can't pull this up. Um, kind of quickly here. Where are you? I was going to see if I could find my graphic. Is basically what I was going to look for. I think it's in here. Uh, yes, and here we are. So on tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern, we're going to be talking about your audio interfaces. You want to make sure that you're here for that. We're going to be going through a couple, okay? And then you want to come back on Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern. We're going to be talking about speakers, headphones, accessories. We're going to be going through that gamut. Thank you guys so much, so much for being here with me on today. Hope you have a great rest of your Black Friday. Don't spend too much money. Just spend just enough money. How about that? On what it is that you want, go ahead and grab those deals that we talked about. Link is in the description for everything. And um, hey, I'll see you back here tomorrow, right here, 11 a.m. Eastern, for your Small Business Saturday deals. Have a good one. Take care.